In other videos, I've shown you the screen capture utility, ShareX. This powerful free and open source Windows program is more than just a simple screenshot tool. It includes other useful tools as well. In the comments, many of you have requested for me to do a tutorial. So in this beginner's guide, I'll show you the various ways to take a screenshot. In addition, I'll show you how to record your screen, use the video converter, and a whole lot more. Let's get started. To download the program to install it, it's available on the ShareX website for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. For Windows 10 users, it's also available from the Microsoft Store. Since this is a beginner's guide, I'll try to keep this as simple as possible, showing you how to use the basic tools that I use most often. When you launch ShareX, there are two ways that you can use it. You could use the program window itself to access the various tools. Another method is to minimize the window, go to the system tray, look for the ShareX icon, and right click on it. You'll find the same categories listed here as well. For the purposes of this video, we'll use the program window for each tutorial. On their home screen, if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, you'll find the most popular hotkeys listed. For example, to capture an active window, you'll press the Alt and Print Screen keys. If you want to take a screenshot, you have many choices. In the sidebar here on the left, select Capture. Let's go through each of these individually. Full screen will capture everything on your screen. If you have multiple monitors, you'll get a multiple monitor screen capture. Window lets you select any open window and nothing else. Monitor lets you capture the full screen of any monitor on your list. For region, there are three listed. The first one is the standard left click, drag and capture, which you'll probably use most often. Light gives you less view options and transparent affects the readability of the text. For most screenshots, the first region listed will be your best bet. After taking your screenshot, in the top bar you can save it to your computer, copy it to your clipboard, upload and print, and to the right of that there are also image editing tools to mark up your screen capture. For those times you need to capture an entire web page from top to bottom, not only what is visible on your screen, I'll show you how to do a scrolling capture. I'll turn off the mouse highlighter for this one to avoid yellow circles on the screenshot. Once again, let's go to Capture and select Scrolling Capture. Select the window, in this case that would be the browser window. This will work with any program that requires you to scroll up or down the page. When the new window opens, here at the bottom, click on Start Scrolling Capture. Let's maximize this. When it's done, you'll get a preview. Here at the top, click Upload Save, depending on After Capture Settings. This will open with the same image editor that was seen in our previous example that will let you save, copy, upload, print, and mark up your image. ShareX also has a good screen recorder. While it's not as feature packed as OBS Studio, it's easy enough to use for most people. To start recording, you could use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus Print Screen, or go to Capture and select Screen Recording. Move your cursor to the area you'd like to record. To record your entire screen, move your cursor outside of any window and left click. Your recording will now begin. To know it's recording, you'll see a red dot here in the system tray. To stop recording, you could use the keyboard shortcut mentioned earlier, Shift plus Print Screen, or click on the red dot. You'll now see the recording listed here in the main window. To modify the screen recorder settings, here on the left, go to Task Settings. In the left pane, select Screen Recorder. For screen recording frames per second, I prefer 60, but you can get by with 30 if you want a smaller file size. Let's now go to Screen Recording Options. Prior to using the screen recorder for the first time, you'll want to click Download in the upper right. I've already done this. This will download and install the encoder to create the video. Other than that, if you plan to record audio, select your audio source. You should see your microphone or preamp listed. For video codec, I use H.264 to compress the image without losing video quality with the constant rate factor set to 28 with a preset of ultra fast. The audio codec I use is MP3 and I have the quality for that set to 4. Based on your system, you may have to adjust these if needed. X out when you're done. If you're someone that's into GIFs, 
Not to be confused with GIF, the steps are similar. To make a GIF from a recording, the keyboard shortcut to start and stop is Control plus Shift plus Print Screen. Or you could go to Capture and select Screen Recording GIF. You can record any part of your screen, any open window, or your entire screen. We'll just do the open window right now. Left click to begin. To stop, click the red dot in the system tray like we did before. And anytime you record any open window on your screen, you also have the option to click stop just below the window. If you ever need to convert any of your video files, ShareX has a useful video converter. On the home screen, go to Tools and select Video Converter. This will open a new window. For Input File Path, click the three dots to browse for the video file you'd like to convert. Go with this one here. Let's go down to Output Folder and click the three dots to select the location of your converted file. Give your file a name, your output file name. I'll just call this one VB Convert. For the video codec, H.264 is highly compatible with other programs. Below that, use the slider to select your video quality, with 0 being the highest and 51 being the lowest. A good middle ground is around 25 to 20. When you're ready, click Start Encoding and wait for it to finish. When you click on Tools, in addition to the video converter I just showed you, there are other useful tools to check out. I won't spend much time here. There's a color picker, an image editor, a ruler, and a whole lot more. The QR code creator is quite handy. Restaurants have been using them lately to access their menus. Just copy and paste the URL into the box to create the new QR code. Right click on the image to copy it to your clipboard, save to your computer, or upload it. When you go to upload, you have several choices. To do it manually, click on upload. Your choices are upload file, upload a folder, upload from your clipboard, upload text, upload from a URL, drag and drop and upload, and shorten URL. After you do a screenshot, recording, or upload, you can choose where those files get uploaded. Let's go to destinations. For each type of file, you can choose where to upload those files. But first, you must connect your account, so let's go to Destination Settings. You'll see these services on the left in various categories. Select your service. Here on the right at the top, click on Connect and follow the instructions. I think so far we've covered the absolute basics for beginners. Just a few minor things to cover. On the home screen on the left, click on Application Settings. There may be a few changes you'd like to make. In the general category, if you want ShareX to appear in your system tray, check the box next to Show Tray Icon. To change the look of the program itself, go to Theme. You have five to choose from. Click the drop-down arrow. You have Dark, Light, Nord Dark, Nord Light, and Dracula. And to select a specific location on your computer to save your captures, go to Paths and select Browse. Go find your location. Select the folder, and when you're done, click on Apply. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And for those of you that are new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest beginner's guides and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.